psychology facts about human behavior that will blow your mind. Did you know that most of the nerve endings that contribute to female orgasms are located right on the surface of the vulva? This means that for many women, penetration isn't even necessary to achieve orgasm. A significant number of women can climax just through external stimulation, making the vulva a central player in sexual pleasure. This also ties into the increasing use of sex toys such as vibrators during foreplay. In fact, countries like Iceland, the UK, and Norway lead the charge in using vibrators during intimate moments. It's fascinating to see how cultural trends in sexuality can vary so widely across the globe. Now let's talk about the importance of foreplay. While women typically require a more prolonged period of stimulation before reaching orgasm, often around 20 minutes some women can climax in as little as 30 seconds of self-stimulation. This stark contrast shows how varied sexual experiences can be. Interestingly, the American Sociological Association found that the most mind-blowing sex typically occurs when you're in love with your partner. And gentlemen, if you want to increase your chances of getting lucky, it might be time to help out with housework studies show that men who help around the house tend to have more sex. Foreplay is more than just physical, it's also about setting the right mood. Sensual colors, flowers, candles, and music can transform a simple bedroom into a haven of intimacy. Remember, foreplay is to sex what stretching is to a workout easy to skip, but essential for great results. Foreplay is more than just physical, it's also about setting the right mood. Sensual colors, flowers, candles, and music can transform a simple bedroom into a haven of intimacy. Remember, foreplay is to sex what stretching is to a workout easy to skip, but essential for great results. Foreplay is crucial, especially when you consider that only 30% of women are able to reach orgasm through intercourse alone. According to Men's Health, the average duration of foreplay is about 13 minutes, though women would prefer it to last around 19 minutes. So men, take your time, it's worth it. Did you know that the US has more laws regulating sexual behavior than all the European countries combined? For example, in some states like Alabama, sex toys are banned, flirting is illegal in San Antonio, Texas, and in Indiana, oral sex is against the law. Yes, you heard that right. Meanwhile, studies have found that the majority of people believe that touching is the number one way to know their partner wants to have sex. And here's a fun fact if you're getting value from this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Research shows that people who do tend to last longer in bed. Plus, if you subscribe, you're likely to have more satisfying orgasm science says so. Cuddling after sex might be the key to a happy relationship. A study from the University of Toronto found that post-sex cuddling is as important to relationship satisfaction as the intercourse itself. The magic lies in oxytocin, often called the cuddle hormone which floods your system during those intimate moments, creating a stronger bond with your partner. Did you know that orgasms can actually act as powerful painkillers? When a person orgasms, the brain releases a flood of endorphins, which are natural pain-relieving chemicals. This might explain why some people look like they're in pain during an orgasm the same brain regions that process pain are activated during sexual climax. Scientists are still trying to figure out exactly how the brain distinguishes between pain and pleasure. But one thing is clear orgasms are incredibly powerful. Interestingly, some people report having orgasms without any genital stimulation at all. For example, people who undergo male-to-female or female-to-male transsexual surgery have reported experiencing orgasms through different parts of their body post-surgery. There are also reports of people achieving orgasm while under the influence of psychedelic drugs, further proving that the brain plays a huge role in sexual pleasure. You might have heard that love and sex are deeply interconnected, but did you know that being in love can actually enhance sexual satisfaction? According to a study published in the Journal of Sex Research, emotional connection plays a crucial role in sexual fulfillment. Couples who report being in love with their partner often experience more intense and satisfying orgasms. And it's not just about love, emotional well-being plays a big part, too. For example, stress is a major enemy of sex. When you're stressed, your body produces cortisol, a hormone that can lower your libido. On the flip side, activities that reduce stress, like meditation or exercise, can significantly boost your sexual drive and performance. One widespread myth is that women aren't as interested in sex as men. 
However, studies show that women's sexual desire can be just as strong as men's, though it may be more influenced by emotional and relational factors. In fact, women's sexual satisfaction often increases with age as they become more comfortable with their bodies and confident in expressing their desires. Another myth is that men are always ready for sex. While it's true that men often have a higher baseline level of sexual desire, they are also affected by stress, fatigue, and emotional issues. Just like women, men need to feel connected and supported in their relationships to fully enjoy their sexual experiences. Another myth is that men are always ready for sex. While it's true that men often have a higher baseline level of sexual desire, they are also affected by stress, fatigue, and emotional issues. Just like women, men need to feel connected and supported in their relationships to fully enjoy their sexual experiences. And here's an interesting fact, both men and women are more likely to experience a stronger sexual connection when they engage in shared activities outside the bedroom. Whether it's cooking together, going on adventures, or simply spending quality time, these shared experiences can enhance intimacy and strengthen the bond between partners. In ancient Greece, same-sex relationships were not only accepted but were considered a normal part of life. In contrast, during the Victorian era in England, even mentioning sex was considered taboo, and strict moral codes governed all aspects of sexual behavior. Sexual fantasies are a natural part of human sexuality, but they are often misunderstood or stigmatized. According to psychological research, most people have sexual fantasies, and these fantasies can vary widely in content and intensity. Common fantasies include scenarios of power dynamics, role-playing, and romantic encounters. Interestingly, the content of sexual fantasies often reflects deeper psychological needs or desires. For example, someone who fantasizes about being in control during sex may have a strong need for control in other areas of their life, while someone who enjoys fantasies of submission may find release in surrendering control. Many couples encounter falling into a routine while routine can bring comfort and stability, it can also lead to sexual boredom. If you've been with your partner for a long time, you might find that your sex life has become predictable. But don't worry, sexual exploration can help reignite that spark. One way to break out of the routine is to try something new in the bedroom. This doesn't mean you need to dive into anything extreme sometimes. Small changes can make a big difference. Experimenting with different positions, incorporating sex toys, or even just changing the setting can make your sexual experiences feel fresh and exciting. Men who help with housework tend to have more sex, and it's the kind that leaves them both satisfied. So, gentlemen, if you want to spice things up in the bedroom, maybe start by tidying up the living room. Sex toys are banned in Alabama, flirting is banned in San Antonio, Texas, oral sex is banned in Indiana, and sleeping naked is illegal in Minnesota. After a man experiences an orgasm, there's usually a refractory period when he can't have another orgasm right away. This recharge time can vary depending on factors like age, sexual experience, and the nature of the relationship. The labia or large vaginal lips serve as a protective barrier for the vagina, helping to shield the inner genitalia from bacteria, dirt, and other potential irritants. Larger labia may offer more coverage, potentially providing an additional layer of protection for the vaginal opening. The labia, particularly the labia minora inner lips, are rich in nerve endings and can be highly sensitive. For some women, larger labia may provide more surface area that can be stimulated during sexual activity, potentially enhancing sexual pleasure. Larger labia may be considered a symbol of fertility, sexual maturity, or beauty. For women who value these cultural or personal symbols, larger labia might be a source of pride and self-assurance like, comment, and subscribe for more from the wisdom of psychology.